of Metanoia Christian Ministries and come, let's join us in worshiping and praising the Lord.
welcome to Metanoia Christian Ministries and this is our broadcast this Wednesday night and welcome uh, we're excited to uh, be with you guys and we just want to greet everybody that's been following us from different parts of the world uh, we have some from uh, Japan New Zealand Australia Middle East Riyadh and Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. US Singapore US, Singapore and uh, yeah, we have, we have, we have a growing number of people. Yeah, even been, here uh, in the Philippines. And oh, yeah, here all in the over. Philippines, different parts of the Philippines. From Bicol to... Uh, from Bicol Mind to... Mindanao. 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 Yeah. And well, to your favorite place in Sultan Kudarat. Yes. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? But hello to our friends in Mindanao. Yeah, well, welcome and welcome to our broadcast tonight. Of course, we're joined here by... None other than Pastor Macho, hello. and Brother Eric, and uh, Brother Ron, hello, and hello. yours truly, Brother Christian. So, um, what could you say about tonight, Pastor Macho, to uh, begin with? Uh, good evening, everyone, brothers and sisters. Actually, this is our first week of uh, MECQ again. That's no? right. Yeah. This That's is right. our first week. So, kung sa tayo dyan, at uh, ito na naman tayo, pero hindi namin kayo iiwanan na dito pa rin kami, and we are still traveling the airwaves. <laughs> Dahil kami ay uh, traveling ministry, sa ika yes. nga naman, hintayin nyo, pag natapos ang lahat ng ito, kami mismo ay pupunta dyan sa inyo. Amen. 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 Yes. Brother yes. Eric, nakikita ko yung title niya eh, medyo mabigat eh. Ano naman? Ano naman? Ano naman? Nakisilip mo ba? Ano ba yan? <laughs> permissive will. The, uh, permissive our, will. Our topic for tonight is the permissive will of God. Wow. And uh, I love this topic. I love this topic because it's not what people think it is. And uh, we, we always have to go to scripture. You know, that's the thing. Eh? You know, everybody has an opinion. But that doesn't matter unless you're, it's founded in the word of God and supported by verses. The only opinion that matters is the opinion of the Holy Spirit. Because that's the only right. You know, uh, Romans 3, 4 says, Let God be true and every man a liar. So, uh, anyway, you know, again, guys, this ministry, we're all about just the word of God. You know, we're not after the catchy one-liners or the catchy phrases or whatever na, Uy, galing, ganda pahingan. You know, para okay yun, lalabas yun naturally. But we want you to quote the scripture. Yeah. We want you to see things for yourself in the scripture. And I know some of you are doing that. Alam niyo, bros, I just want to do this praise report. You know, I'm so encouraged. You know, we have some freedom groups. Na, syempre, kahit na lockdown tayo, we still meet online and we minister online. And they've been sharing what they've been learning here with others. And they present verses. Yeah. Hindi yung, oh, sabi ni Brother Eric, ito yung turo ni Brother Eric. Oh, sabi ni Pastor, ganito, ganyan. You know, totoo lang, ha, if there's something that you, you should erase from your vocabulary is, ah, kami sa church namin, ganito eh. Yes, oh, sabi ni ganito. Oh, sabi si Pastor ko kasi ito yung sabi sa akin. Eh. So, nandun tayo sa submit to authority. Amen. I have no question about that. If you are part of a church, part of a leadership, or whatever, you submit to the authority. Amen. That's not a problem. But does your authority sub, authority figure submit to the Word of God? Because this is our final authority. Yeah. You know, so I, I don't care how great and how wonderful your pastor is. If he's going against the Word of God, then that's unbiblical. Yes. I follow, uh, follow me. I, imitate I me follow as I imitate Christ. Christ. So, so si Christ, Christ pa rin. Pa rin. Uh, so, I mean, yun yung problem eh. You know, because uh, Pinoy culture is celebrity culture. Uh, unfortunately and you know sadly it's also an idolatrous uh, yes. culture eh, wala, yun yung hundreds of years <laughs> it's an idolatrous culture so people tend to elevate other people so much more at the end of the day it's not about me or you or your leader your pastor your senior pastor your bishop it's not we're all brothers and sisters under Christ all of us even if you've been in ministry for 50, 60 years, it does not matter. We all submit to the Word of God. And we're not saying that we're perfect, but I believe we're pretty confident that we are founded strongly in the Word of God. And we do not depart from the Word of God. You know, we don't have any graphs or fancy graphics. Minsan nga, daliri lang yung props natin. Eh, diba? <laughs> Ako, yung spirit, soul, and body. Kadalasan, daliri lang. Eh. You know, but I just want to make it simple. Because all you need is the Word of God. That's right. Diba? Yeah, that's all we need. The Word of God is uh, not complicated. Uh, yung, our walk is based on uh, how we understand yung truth. Hindi eh. mm. diba? lahat tama. 
that's why we keep on pang reading pa rin, understanding. Refining. Uh, pero we can say na hindi namin narinig sa ibang tao. Talagang ito yung nabasa yes. namin. That's true. You know, this is something that like, even if we hear from other people, you know, sometimes you hear a preacher or read a book yeah. and makes a very good point. You know, it's good practice to go back to your Bible and go check the verse. Hindi, uy, sabi ni author such and such. Yun na yun Go to your Bible. Everything you hear here, everything we've, we've been teaching since day one. Ano yung sinasabi natin, Pastor? Balikan nyo. Balikan nyo sa salita ng Diyos. Go back to the Bible. Kasi mas maganda you hear it directly from Him. Saka iba yung power when you share it and it remad to you first. Amen. So, Pastor Macho, can you open us in prayer? Let's pray. All right, Almighty Father in heaven, Lord God, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity, Lord God. That we're together once again, Lord God. You said in your word, two or three are gathered in your name. There you are in the midst of them. It is why right now we acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. We acknowledge your presence right now. Whatever the tactics of the enemy right now, I bind you. You are not to prevent this preaching from happening in the name of Jesus Christ. And I, I speak blessings to the people that is hearing right now, that is listening to us, that they may have a receptive heart and mind to whatever Brother Ron is about to say, Brother Ron is about to uh, preach right now, that it'll be all coming from God and God only. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. So tonight, our, again, the title of the message is The Permissive Will of God. You know, so what is the permissive will of God? And uh, here's the thing, you know what? Uh, again, we're, we're at home. This is the Metanoia Christian Ministries uh, channel or pulpit, whatever you want to call it. So if you guys have been watching for, you know, the past few months or the years, I don't know how long that you've been following, but you know that one of the most, um, I'd say controversial yeah. uh, statements or teachings is our stance on God allows, yes. right? God allows. So I think majority of the Christian churches today will talk about God allows this, God allows that. When something bad happens, God allowed it. When something, someone dies, God allowed it. When uh, COVID came and whatever, God allowed it. Everything God allows. But, and, and um, you know, throughout these months, throughout the many, many, many messages that we've been preaching here, we have uncovered through the Word of God that when you subscribe to a hyper-sovereignty doctrine that leads you to say that God allows everything, that... that that leads you to a place, a position of being passive. Because if God allows everything, when you say allow, ito guys, that's, uh, pag, pag sinabi mong allow, you give a legal right. Yeah. Saka yung being passive, sino bang may gusto yan? Si God or Satan? Exactly. Who wants so? Who, who? Diba? <laughs> Kaya yung sinabi niya kay John the Baptist, di ba? Yeah. Uh, the kingdom of God is... Advancing, ah. Uh, sino yung kumukuha by force, yun yung panabi. The violent yes. take it by, by force. force. Yeah. So, yun nga, and, and, and like this, okay. Sobra simple. Passive, active. James 4, 7, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Ano yun, passive o active? Active. active. So, pag, paano ko mag-resist ng devil and he will flee kung passive ka? Because if you're passive, you're not gonna resist. You're just gonna sit there and, you know, get clawed at by the enemy who is like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. So, pag may lion dyan sa labas, tapos passive ka, kahit na anong curl mo o tago sa sulo, kakainin ka nun. You know, so you can't be passive. And there's a spiritual war going on. So, passive Christians fall victim to the enemy. But that's the problem with hyper-sovereignty. That's the problem with the permissive will that God allows this, God allows that. Oh, He's allowing it to break you. He's allowing it to teach you a lesson, to discipline you, this and that. And you know, guys, we get persecuted a lot for this. Because it goes against the teaching. But if you really look at the Passive truth... Passive sila, pero pagdating sa theology... Aggressive. Oh nga, nabu eh. Amen ito. So pagdating sa sickness and poverty and brokenness and ganito, passive, sige lang. Pero in the moment you say, hey man, you're actually designed to reign in life. Romans 5, 17. Active naman sila. Active naman. How dare you say that? Because there's a lie that Satan has sold these churches that they believe that if God does not allow these things, it makes him weaker or it makes him less sovereign. You know, so I'm not here to teach about sovereignty today, but I'm here to teach you about what is the permissive will of God. What does God allow? Yeah. Diba? Because everybody says God allows sickness. No, He does not. If God allowed sickness, that means you could not get healed. Yeah. If God allowed sickness, that means you should not even go to the doctor. 
that to go to the doctor is sin. If rebellion God, <laughs> rebellion against what God has given, if he did, he did allow your sickness. So where do we stop? Diba? Does God allow sin? No. Obviously. Diba? So I think all Christians would agree. God does not allow sin, but He allows sickness. Oh, sabihin nila, they, yes, kasi sickness will teach you to discipline you. Oh, sige, how about murder? Does God allow murder? No. no. Obviously not. But when people die, they say God allowed it. Murder. Murder din yun. Di ba? Uh, okay, so, is, is the Lord willing that any should perish? No. Di ba? Not willing, not 2 really. Peter 3 9. But for some reason, there are Christians in churches saying that God sent COVID as a blessing. So, I don't know of any. <laughs> okay, so where do we stop with God allows? How about abortion? Did God allow abortion? No. So can you go to heaven and say, God, you allowed me to do this abortion to teach me a lesson? Wow. But pero ayon nila yon. But for some reason, they will say when a baby dies or has a heart defect or or cancer, God allowed it. So I don't difference. You see what I mean? Who told you which sins God allowed? And which sins he did not, or which problems he did not, diba? So what is sickness? Sickness is all a result of sin. What are the sickness no one, diba? So anyway, I'm here to align, and I will show you through Scripture what God allows, and it's not what you think. You know, it's really, <laughs> it's you know, it really, it's not what you think. We have a lot of Scripture today, but it's not because I'm going to go through verse by verse. It's because they are stories, and I want to talk about. Hezekiah He's a good king So if you say Hezekiah If you know your Bible You know your scripture You know a lot of people Would know Oh Hezekiah was a good king yeah. So let's go to 2 Kings Chapter 18 Verses 1 to 7 I'm reading from the NASB Okay 2 Kings 18 Verse 1 It says Now it came about In the third year of Hosea Son of Elah King of Israel That Hezekiah The son of Ahaz King of Judah Became king he was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Abi, the daughter of Zechariah. Verse 3, he did right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father David had done. He removed the high places and broke down the sacred pillars and cut down the Asherah. He also broke into pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made. For until those days, the sons of Israel burned incense to it. It was called Nehushtan. Verse 5. He trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel, so that after him there was none like him among the kings of Judah, nor among those who were before him. For he clung to the Lord. I love this. He clung to the Lord. He did not depart from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord had commanded Moses. And the Lord was with him wherever he went. He prospered. And he rebelled against the king of Assyria and did not serve him. So, as we can see here, Hezekiah was a good king. There was none like him before him. There was none like him after. He clung to the Lord. He broke the golden, you know, the, the bronze serpent. Because while, while the Lord was the one who gave that instruction, the people chose to worship it. Diba? Instead of fulfilling the purpose. And, you know, naging idolatrous talaga ang tao. Eh. Diba? So, Anyway, it says here that he trusted the Lord, he was a good king, he was respectable. So, but towards the end of his life, you know, he really, it, you know, he kind of strayed away. So he was blessed, he was <laughs> prospered wherever he would go, he was blessed. But if you would skip down a few chapters, let's go to 2 Kings, verse 20. 2 Kings, verse 20, ah, sorry, 2 Kings, chapter 20, my bad. Um, 2 Kings 20, verses 1 to 11. Verse 1, it says... In those days, so hindi ko na adaanan yung buhay niya, medyo mahaba kasi yung madaming ginawa si Hezekiah. Okay, but it says, verse 1, In those days, Hezekiah became mortally ill. And Isaiah, the prophet, son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Verse 2, Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech you with, uh, I beseech you how I have walked before you in truth and with a whole heart, and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Verse 4 
before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Return and say to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, Thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal. I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add 15 years to your life. Wow. And I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend the city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Verse 7, Then Isaiah said, Take care of figs. And they took and laid it, laid it on the boil. Ah, uh, sorry, he said, take a care, uh, take a cake of figs. And they took it and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Now Hezekiah said to Isaiah, What will be the sign that the Lord will heal me? That I shall go up to the house of the Lord on the third day. Isaiah said, This shall be the sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward <coughs> ten steps or go back ten steps? So Hezekiah answered, It is easy for the shadow to decline ten steps. No, but let the shadow turn backward ten steps. Verse 11, Isaiah the prophet cried to the Lord and he brought the shadow on the stairway back ten steps by which it had gone down on the stairway of Ahaz. So, Guys, you know what, to be honest, I could teach on this for an hour. You know, just this, these 11 verses, you know, there's so much. I don't want to get distracted from the, from the message, but okay. A few things I want to point out. Number one, Hezekiah became mortally ill. It does not say God made him sick. Because that, that's the first thing you say, oh, okay, the most you got, no. Walang sinabi dito, it does not say anywhere that God made him sick. So let's not put words in God's mouth, okay? God did not make him sick. He became mortally ill. What, how? Why? I don't know, okay? So, and Isaiah the prophet told him, he received a, a word from God saying that set your house in order because he's going to die. So the word of God confirmed a, a, to Hezekiah that, hey, you know, this is the end of the line. Um, you know, go set your house in order. So the Lord... You know, time, time's up na talaga. You know, yun yung wisdom ni God. Yeah. So, did God send the sickness? No. Did God want the sickness? No. Okay, and how? How can I say that? Did He allow the sickness? Yan ang sasabihin nila. Oh, He allowed it kasi it happened. Okay, so if God allowed the sickness, why would He heal? Can God lie? Magulo ba utak ni God? Okay. Diba? Okay, so yan ang gusto kong i-explain So, but what happened? So set your house in order So God's wisdom Through, spoken through Isaiah Was to tell Hezekiah na, you know what? Umuwi ka na well, Set your house in order Hey, he gave him Ito yung ano, Jeremiah 29.11 In the King James that You will have an expected end So, it may have been through sickness here But it, he had a warning na, Hey, set your house in order Diba? You shall die and not live. So at least yun, you can say, okay na, yusin mo na to, pasa mo na ganyan. Pero, for some reason, another thing I want to point out, Hezekiah loved this life more than to be with the Lord. And there's a problem. Right? There's a problem because Hezekiah loved at this point in time. He faced the wall and he wept bitterly. And he said, Lord, remember how I walked before you in truth and with a whole heart. Remember, so he, 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 he pulled up all his good deeds. Kasi low pa to eh. Guys, this is Old Testament, right? Wala pan Jesus. So performance based. I mean, Lord, I walk before you in truth and with a whole heart and I've done what's good in your sight. And he wept bitterly. And then, hindi pa nakakalabas si Isaiah the prophet. He received another word. In verse 5, return, say, Hez hey, say, say to Hezekiah. Diba? I've heard your prayer. I've seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. So, did God give the sickness and then heal? No, that's not. But that's how they portray God today. And I will explain this um, tomorrow. Diba? So, and then not only that, he said, I will give you 15 years to your life. So, binigyan pa expected end. Diba? And I will deliver you and this city from the king of Assyria. But not for your sake. For his sake, for my own sake and my servant's servant David. So, so this was done, I want to point out, not because Hezekiah had a resume. This was done because God is good. 
He said, for my own sake. It's, it's because he's good. It's not because you're good. Even in the Old Testament, it's because he's good. And he said, for my servant David's sake. It's not because David was awesome. It's because God promised David. So it wasn't based on David's performance. It wasn't based on Hezekiah's performance. Not even in the Old Testament. It was always based on God's goodness. And he healed him. And he added 15 years to his life. Diba? So ito nga, take a cake of figs. Gumawa na ng fig cake. Labo. Anong connection nun sa, sa healing eh? Diba? Pero anyway. And then Hezekiah even had doubt in his heart. What's the sign? Give me a sign. O anong ano? Gusto mong abante? 10 steps? Minus Yung ten. shadow. Yung shadow. So ano yun? Papa, sabihin mo kay God, God, maniniwala ako sa'yo, paggalawin mo yung sun. O galawin mo yung earth. Ano yun? Ginawa niya kay ano yun? Kay Joshua. Oh, hindi. Yun, yung standstill yun. Oh, uh, Pero ito, move forward, move back. Yung sundial, ginawa rin. Oh, yun. sundial. So I mean, back then, we, don't have, we didn't have any watches Watch, or cell phones. Yeah. It was a sundial. So literally, either the sun or the earth moved yeah. back. For how many, I don't know. For, diba? So anyway, tinest niya si God. How will I know? Do, I, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Mm. Deuteronomy. But this is exactly what he did. So this shows that Hezekiah actually had questionable faith at this point in time. He actually tested God. And he valued his earthly life more than to be with the Creator. And he held on to his good works. So it sounds like a lot of Christians today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Pero, uh, kasi sa kanila, iba naman wala silang Jesus. Correct. Correct. So that's a... Uh, actually, yun na kayo yun yun yung point eh. Yeah. Sila walang Jesus, kaya, tayo meron. Kaya yung ginagawa nyo, nakiusap, mm. lalabas <coughs> lahat. Kailangan mo yung labas yung ginawa mo eh. Yeah, yeah. Tayo, talagang blessed tayo. Amen. Labas lang natin si Jesus. Okay. Yun na yun. Okay. Sila, they have to bank on their good works, their performance, di ba? At sana gumalaw si God. Sana gumalaw si God. Today, every spiritual, every spiritual blessing has been given to us, Ephesians 1.3, through Jesus Christ. Anyway, so balik tayo, 2 Kings 20, verses 12 to 19. Basahin ko lang. It says, At the time, Berodak Baladan, a son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that Hezekiah had been sick. Okay, verse 13, Hezekiah listened to them and showed them all his treasure house, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious oil and the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasuries. There was nothing in his house nor, nor in all his dominion that Hezekiah did not show them. Yabang. It's been a lot of kayamanan. It's after Binuhay siya. Oh, after Binuhay siya, ito na yung ginawa niya. Okay, after Binuhay siya, after ano, Hezekiah showed all the possessions of the kingdom. So he took pride in uh, earthly. Uh, dito yung worldly, yung siya sabi mo kanina na he loved this world. Kinu yes. Pa mayabang na niya ngayon. Yun, yun, yun nga. So he loved the earthly life more. He loved the carnal things more. And desire to be here more than to be with our God in heaven. Diba? Wala siyang confidence na adun. For some reason, meron attraction sa kanya na mas gusto niya dito. And what happened? He had an attachment to his possessions. Dumating lang yung Berodak Baladan from, from Babylon. Diba? Prince of Babylon. And he showed everything in his treasure. Ang pangalan ng anak mo to. Ha? <laughs> pag, ano yun, no? Gaga, magkaka-unforgiveness yung anak mo sa'yo pag pinangalan mo niya Berodak Baladan Hirap pa spelling anyway, So anyway So uh, verse 13 Hezekiah listened to them He showed them all his treasure house The silver, the gold, the spices, the precious oil The house of his armor All that was found in his treasuries There was nothing in his house nor in, his, in all his dominion that Hezekiah did not show them. Verse 14, Then Isaiah the prophet came to the king, came to king Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say? And from where have they come to you? And Hezekiah said, They have come from a far country, from Babylon. 15, he said, What have they seen in your house? So Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasuries that I have not shown them. Yung problema dyan, my treasuries na Ne, yun nga, sa kanya ne. Na kanya ne. My treasury. See, these are small things that people miss out on. Uh, verse 16. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your house and all that your fathers have laid up in store this day will be carried to Babylon. 
nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Some of your sons who shall issue from, who shall issue from you, whom you will beget, will be taken away. They will become officials in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, The word of the Lord which you have spoken is good. Para naging good yun? Na may sasakop sa'yo at nanakawin lahat ng laman ng bahay mo. Parang tinanggap niya eh. Hindi, nga. How does that become good? That he just said, Isaiah, as inspired by the Holy Spirit, said that everything in your house will be taken away, taken captive. Your children will be taken to a foreign land. Meaning, you guys are going to be slaves by a foreign country. And he said, what you said is good. For he thought, verse 19, Is it not so if there will be peace and truth in my days? Hezekiah became so selfish and self-centered. When, when from the point where he got mortally sick, he, he loved this life more than to be with God. And then, you know, in the Lord's wisdom, I know the Lord has foreknowledge. Right? The Lord exists outside of time. He has one uh, past, present, and future. It's just one big now. So he knew this was going to happen. Ito yung reason kung ba't sinabi niya, set your affairs in order. At least maganda ending. At least maganda ending mo. May wisdom na si God din. And besides, kahit sabihin ni God na time's up, that's the word of the Lord. Why would you go against the word of the Lord? This is what happens when you go against the word of the Lord. Okay? So, Hezekiah focused on his earthly life. Instead of looking forward to being with God, you know, to be with him, see David, look forward to that eh. Diba? Na, sabi niya, Lord, if there's anything I desire is to be in your house. Even si Paul. Diba? Si Paul, si Paul, si Paul din eh. Pero kahit na Old Testament, even, diba? The psalmist, they, they look forward to being with the Lord. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand yeah, elsewhere. Yeah, dagdag ko eh. Uh. Parang ako, minsan pag nang may minister ako sa mga sick, parang mawala lang yung fear of death. Sasabi ko, dapat makita mo, kung namatay ka man, kaya hindi ka na heal. Heaven ka na. Mm-hmm. So, ba't ka natatakot mamatay? There's no better place. Gagawa ko yun, hindi ko sabihin mamamatay siya. Tatanggal yeah. ko lang yung fear. fear. Kasi sobra tayo nakafocus dito sa mundo. Eh. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, it's, it's, it's sad lang that Hezekiah, even though he was a good king, he was very blessed, he walked with the Lord, you know, did all these amazing things, and he had a very beautiful story. But towards the end of his life, he became very carnally minded. He valued the earthly life more than life with God, you know, and then, you know, sipin mo to, sinabi sa kanya, through Isaiah the prophet, pati yung descendants mo, your children will be taken away. Okay lang sa kanya eh. Okay lang. Mm. Kasi, kasi at least, hindi sa akin. Uh. So, hayaan mo na yung mga anak ko. Basta ako, enjoy ako sa buhay na to. So that, he became selfish. Sa NLT, at least there will be peace and security my, during my lifetime. Oh, yeah, during my lifetime. Swapang. 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 So, so, maghirap, uh, na, maghirap na yung mga anak ko, basta ako. Okay. Okay. You know, see, that's, but here's the thing. If you're focused on earthly life, you're not going to finish well. Yeah. And the Christian walk is about finishing well. It's not just finishing, it's finishing well. well. Yung iba nga, ka finish eh. Yeah. So, you know, it's not about how much ministry you've done. It's not about how much church you've attended. Or, or that, oh, dati ako, active ako sa church. Dati ako, on fire ako. Diba? Yung mga ganun. The goal is to finish the race and finish it well. In 2 Timothy 4, verse 7, it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. And this is the last letter of the Apostle Paul. Diba? Itong 2 Timothy. Ito na yung huling sulat niya bago siya... Ito yung prayer ng kid. Mm. Na in my end, kaya ko sabihin to. Oh, nga. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the, the course. I, I have kept the faith. Hindi ako umalis. Yeah. Hindi ako sumuko kahit gano'ng kahirap. Hindi yeah. nagbago yung heart ko para sa'yo, Lord. Diba yun yung ano eh. But here, okay, so, you know, here's the thing. Parang sabi nga ni Brother Eric kanina, Hezekiah didn't have Jesus. He didn't have a Savior. He didn't have the Holy Spirit dwelling in him forever. Diba? But how is it that, why do so many Christians have the same attitude as Hezekiah? Diba? I mean, it's not the focus on, mamaya ko na ipapasok ko sa si Permissive Willa. But, Ang problema ko, pati yung prayer niya, mm. ginagaya ngayon. Exactly. Yeah. That the people are begging yung God. Wept bitterly, ginagawa oh. pa rin. Hindi, tsaka Lord, ginawa ko to para sa'yo. Lord, oh. ginawa ko yan para sa'yo. But di mo ko... Deserve ko yung healing oh, mo. Oh, deserve yeah. ko yung healing mo. But, you know, as we know today, if you've been watching us for, for the past few months, you have learned, you would have learned that healing is a grace gift. It's not something you earn. It's not something you deserve. God has given it freely. So, you know... Hezekiah didn't have Jesus, we do. 
But how many? How come so many Christians are acting like Hezekiah? Diba? How come they have the same mindset? In Colossians 3, verses 2 to 4, Colossians 3, verses 2 to 4, it says, Set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on earth. But not on the things below. Depending on the translation. Mo. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Mm-hmm. Sobrang ganda. Mm-hmm. Diba? When Christ, who is our life, not just new life, huh? He is our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with Him in glory. So, guys, okay. Ito na. Ito na yung gusto ko ng halukayan tong permissive will of God. The permissive will of God is the exact opposite of what most, ch- most churches teach. They say permit. God permitted to get sick. God permitted uh, murder. Or God permitted war. Or God permitted you to be molested, to teach you something. Or God permitted your parents to die, to do this and that. That's not what God permits. You know what God permits? It's the exact opposite the permissive will of God is actually on the excessive side instead of the evil side. Yes. You, you see what I'm trying to say? What did God permit? God permitted Hezekiah to live another 15 years. God permitted Hezekiah. God already released his word and said, it's, you know, it's time. You've got to set your affairs in order. Time to go home. The permissive will of God is for good. So, bakit sabi nila, hindi bro, may conflict dyan, may conflict dyan. Diba? Hindi, hindi may conflict eh. It is God's will, His nature, His very name, especially in the Old Testament, Yehovah Rapha, to heal. It is God's will and absolute nature to heal. He is the God of life. He is the God who creates life. He is the God who, who, who takes your infirmities. Who, diba, yun yun eh. Yun yung ano ni God eh. Yun yung power niya eh. So, Kung nasaan siya, may life. Life flows. So, bakit hindi tinanggihan ni God yung prayer ni Hezekiah for healing? Because it's aligned with His will. Yes. It's a prayer answering God. It's a, hindi lang sa prayer answering God, it's aligned with His will. Yes. Pag sinabi ni Hezekiah, Lord, patayin mo nga tong isang ganyan. <laughs> in, in, di ba? Hindi, hindi niya puso. Eh. Hindi niya heart yun eh. So he will have to use people for whatever, this and that. But he came to God and said, Lord, heal me. In nature, he will heal. So the permissive will of God is on the good side, not the evil side. God does not permit murder or abortion or rape or all these drugs or whatever. No, what he permits is goodness. You know, I, I don't want to call it excessive because there is no excessive to God. But for the human, from the human perspective, for our context, it may seem like excessive goodness. Pero nature ni God yun eh. You know? So, the permissive will of God is still good. God allows good. If you are carnally minded, you will bring yourself to ruin and to consequences that will affect others. Si God, parang yung hiningi mo, in eh, nature ko yan eh. Yung hiningi mong healing, eh, ako yan eh. I am healing. I am Yehovah Rapha. That's my name. So, of course, I'm gonna say yes. Pero kung magpapakasira ka, if you're gonna ruin yourself because of this blessing, that's your fault. The permissive will of God is on the excessive side of goodness. So that, yung nag-o. dalas kinagamit ng mga lakay tree about giving, mm. at sa gayain natin, sabi niya, sige, magbigay ko yung test, test me on this. this. Uh, Kasi yun yung good niya mag-bless eh. Mm-hmm. Na. Nature na yun eh. Diba? So, you know what, here's the thing. So, permissive will of God. Kahit na alam niyang, nako, Itong anak ko, baka alam niya eh. Mm. Itong anak ko, nak- hindi maano yung ending. Pero yung hiningi niya sa akin. Yung 15 years? No? It's my miss. Si God yung nagbigay ng 15 no, years eh. Pero yung hiningi niya sa akin, heal me. Nature niya. Nature ko yun eh. How can I say no to my nature? Yes. How can I say no to my to me, that life, the God of life, not Saka, the God of death? No, meron din si Ahab. Nag-fast and pray. Ah, yeah. Si Actually, yeah. Yeah. Give the God, yeah. Yeah. Gusto ko sanang isama yun, pero sa sobrang haba ah, na nito. Yeah. You know, I, have, I still have a lot of scripture to read, but, you know, yung nga, parang yung kay Ahab, I wanted to include that, kasi Ahab was one of the most evil kings. Nag-repent, nag-fast. The wife is the wife was Jezebel, who one of the very popular demon in, in a lot of uh, places today. Diba? Sinabihan siya ng prophet. Oh. Actually, sinabihan siya ng prophet na ganyan-ganyan. Uh, fast like and fast pray. and pray. Tapos natuwa si God. Oo, oh, sabi niya, humble siya, so pagbigyan natin. Hmm. Pero naging bad pa rin. Eh. Naging bad pa rin. 
So yun nga, because it Doon natutuwa si God eh. yeah. Repentance He is a God of forgiveness He is a God of mercy He is a God of life He is not a God of rape He is not a God of abortion He is not a God of sickness He is a God of healing yes. So yung nga The permissive will of God Is on the side of goodness God allows goodness And whatever is aligned with His nature Kung magpapakasira ka doon That's not God's yes. fault yes. Free will mo yun eh. Diba? So What's your free will? Free will just... natin yun Kaya nga, yun yung madalas natin gamitin, Romans 2.4. Mm. It is the goodness. the goodness of God Please that brings people to repentance. Yeah. Eh, hindi yung bigyan kita ng problema, tingnan natin kung magre-repent ka. Actually, you know what? Hindi, totoo lang. Ah. Yung problema na, hindi naman talaga nang gagalit uh, sa Panginoon. Na. Pare, ito na lang. Prangkahan lang for everyone watching. If God allowed your sickness to teach you a lesson, bakit di ka pa rin disciplined? Ano, holy ka na? If God allowed your bad thing that happened to your life, bakit may unforgiveness ka kay God? Bakit deep down may tampo ka pa rin sa kanya? If God allowed your miscarriage in your womb, the God of life, if He allowed it according to the doctrines that many people teach, if He allowed it, then why is there pain when you remember it? Yes. Think about that. Isipin natin to, the Mas God of life, kinakain ka sa loob, and you have that question in your head na, good ba talaga si God? Pero pinayagan niya to eh. Kung nasira pamilya mo, and then God allowed it. Doesn't that make God a liar? Think about that really well. You know, again, most people will say, for my discipline, it's for my good, it's for my ganyan. Kung ganun, ba't di ka pa rin discipline? Ba't di ka pa rin mukhang Christ-like? Nasaan yung fruit? Nasaan yung John 14, 12? I will do the same works and greater works. Kung, kung, kung si God nagbigay ng cancer mo, nasaan na? Nasaan na? na yung glory kay God? So hindi ko sinasabing, <coughs> ano yung sakit ha? You know, but my point is, stop using that because that's not God. God does not allow that. The very fact that He is the God who heals means that we enforce His legal, um, yung, yung, yung legal right natin as Christians to evict and remove and rebuke sickness. We enforce God's will, His yung pag-alaw niya ng victory natin to resist the, the devil and he will flee from us. When you say allow, that means it has a legal right. And if people keep on claiming it's for my perfection, it's for my ganito, why are you not perfect? Why are you not disciplined? Why are you still so broken? You know, the very word saved in the New Testament that Jesus did, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, you are saved by grace, is the word sozo. And I've taught on that, and I encourage you to watch that message, but sozo means made whole. If you keep on saying, I'm broken, I'm broken, I'm broken, ano nangyara sa saved? You can't be saved and broken, you choose. Are you saved and whole or are you not saved and broken? And I know that's a heavy statement, but I didn't make up the words. That's what it means. Diba? So go to your Bible and check it yourself. Bago kayo magalit sa akin, nakakainis lang kasi, you know what? We meet a lot of Christians who love Jesus. Diba? But then, because of wrong knowledge, namamatay sila. Because of doctrine that you know, stems from the enemy, they they suffer unnecessarily they die untimely deaths and that's not god's will kasi ito nga ang masakit oh. din yung defend nila yung gawa ni satan oh kaysa uh, gawa ni god oo uh, diba hindi ito yung ganito gusto ni god para sa akin to why are people so quick to justify why they're defeated rather than what then search why we should why they are not victorious so you know, 15 years more, going back to Hezekiah, 15 years more. What's so bad about 15 years? Diba? 15 years lang naman eh. Ano bang ano dyan? God sees and knows everything. You know, if God told me, this is just me, I don't know about you guys, huh? pag kinausap pa ko ni God, at sinabi ni God, anak, time to go home. I would be excited. I, you know, I wouldn't be worried about, oh, si paano to? Inok, hindi na nagbabay. Si, wala nang babay. Eh, no, God, God took wala, him. Wala, 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 wala. <laughs> diba? So, Diba nga? So anyway, yung point ko lang, isa kung sinabi niya, uwi na tayo, okay. Nakala ko may isa, uh. hindi niya ma-forgive sarili niya. Sabi ko, may cancer eh. Mm. Kaya na ko, bakit hindi mo ma-forgive sarili niya? Kasi namatay daw anak niya. Feeling niya siya may kasalanan. Hindi ka na tinanong bakit. Mm. Pero sabi ko, Christian ba anak mo? So yes. So, why Parang you're sad. Nasa heaven na siya. Perfect na life niya. Yeah. Mm. Ikaw dumadaan ka pa, makikimo ka pa bukas, magaganyan ka pa. Babayaran mo pa tong bill na to. Naalala ko yan. Um, Sa BGC yan, di ba? Na-heal siya. Uh, mm. parang, unforgiveness ng self. Uh, and then na-release niya, na-heal siya. Naka-uwi. Pinakita Tama. ko lang sa kanya, ano meron sa heaven? Mm. 
So bakit nag parang hindi mo forgive sarili mo na anak mo namatay? Eh ano kaya maagi siya namatay? Eh nasa heaven, he is with Jesus. Sobrang perfect na yung life niya. Amen. Amen. Kasi Amen. free siya dun. That's right. So again, the, the point why we're teaching this is to open your eyes that what God allows. God allows, when you say God allows, you better make sure it's on the side of goodness. And God allows the things uh, according to His nature, not against His nature. Because sickness and evil is against His nature. Hindi allow niyo yun eh. Pag sabi mong allow niyo yun, ibig sabihin may pirma ni God yun, may legal consent na sige, okay to mag-sin, which is, di ba? But, you know, that's the thing. To the people who subscribe to the God allows doctrine, which sins does He allow and which ones does He, di ba? Does he reject or not allow? Hindi pwede. So anyway, going back to Hezekiah, again, I want to point out, it doesn't say God made him sick. It doesn't say God allowed him to be sick. It says he became sick, and then God spoke through um, Isaiah that, he would not, that Hezekiah would not recover. So God has foreknowledge. But you see, guys, Old Testament intervention like this shows God's exceeding abundant goodness. Di ba? Hindi yung, ito yung permissive will ni God. Ito yung permissive will ni God. That his nature is indeed, like he doesn't want anyone to be destroyed. He is a God of life. He is a God of healing. It is his nature to give life and to heal. But when we question God's wisdom, we give room for the flesh to move. Yun ang yari kay Hezekiah. But since healing is aligned with God's will and God's heart and God's character, he permitted Ito yung permissive will ni God na, okay, Good luck. nakikita ko na kung ano yung mangyayari, pero yung hiningi mo is my nature eh. So I'll give it. Diba? So, you know, this is Old Testament. Today, healing is for everyone. It's paid for on the cross. 1 Peter 2 verse 24, by the stripes of Jesus were healed. Diba? It's all been accomplished on the finished work of the cross of Christ. But okay, pero again, Old Testament, what are the consequences of this permissive will of God? Let's go to 2 Chronicles 33. Ito silang. 2 Chronicles 33. So, about 15 years were added to the life of uh, Hezekiah. So, but in 2 Chronicles 33, verse 1, it says, Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king and he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. Sino si Manasseh? Anak ni Hezekiah. And how old was he when he became king? 12. So that means, after 3 years, years nagkaanak si Hezekiah ulit. Nasi manase. Okay? So, had Hezekiah accepted God's wisdom and God's word and just said, Okay, Lord, I'm going to come home to you. Wala na sana si manase. Who is manase? Verse 2. Evil. He did evil in the sight of the Lord according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord dispossessed before the sons of Israel. He rebuilt the high places which Hezekiah, his father, had broken down. He also erected altars for the Baals, for the Baals and made Asherim and worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. Okay, skip tayo verse, uh, verse 6, verse 6. 2 Chronicles 33, verse 6. Just for the sake of time. He made his sons pass through the fire. Pare plural to ah. So hindi lang isa. His children, his firstborn, his whatever, he would he made his sons pass through the fire. He sacrificed his own children in the fire to foreign gods, to demon, demon gods. In the valley of Ben Hinnom, and he practiced witchcraft, witchcraft, divination. used divination, practiced sorcery, dealt with mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. Then he put the carved image of the idol which he had made in the house of God, of which God had said to David and to Solomon his son, in this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen from all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. And I will not again remove the foot of Israel from the land which I have appointed to your fathers, if only they will observe to do all that I have commanded them according to the law, the statutes and the ordinances given through Moses. Verse 9, Thus, Manasseh misled Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to do more evil than the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the sons of Israel. Grabe! Mas evil pa to kay Ahab. Mas evil pa siya. Si Manasseh was the most evil king in the history of Judah. You know, Israel and Judah. So, out of that 15-year extension came the most evil king in their history. You know what? And the Lord knew this. That's why in God's wisdom, He said, you know what? Umuwi ka na. 
set your affairs in order. Oh, okay, na nakikita ko na. But he, here's the thing. Sabihin nila, oh, bakit si God ganun? Alam niya, ba't niya ginawa? So, masama si God. Hindi eh. Ito yung God allows. The reason why God allowed the life extension because it was a life extension. Yung hiningi ni Hesekaya, tama. Tama. Sa nature yes, sa nature ni God. Nature. The permissive will of God is the exact opposite of what the churches are preaching. God allows sickness, God allows ganito. No, no, no. God allows life and abundance and blessing and excess, exceeding abundantly more than what you can ask or think. That's what God allows. Now, the problem is, kung ikaw yung magpapakasira doon, that's not God's fault. Di ba? Kasi yung God allows na kadalasan turo is they pick and choose what they like. God allows this and that, not this. No, ano, wag abortion, sobrang. Pedophilia, ay, bad yan, bad yan. Pero murder, allow niya rin. See, see, who gave you the authority to pick and choose which sin? Di ba? God does not allow any sin. If He allowed sin, that means sin is not sin. Di ba? So, anyway... You know, Jesus paid for all the ex- ne, yun na nga eh. Jesus paid for all the sins So now, it's either Since Jesus paid for all the sins It's either God allows all sin Or He does not yeah. Yeah. Hindi bro, sickness yung pinag-uusapan eh sa, sa, ano ba, Saan ba galing yung sickness and death? Sa sin yeah. Diba? The sin it is, uh, When sin entered the world Sampai sa Romans 5 yata yung 5.12 I think it's not in the notes, but Romans 5 12, when Adam sinned, death entered the world. Yeah. So it's either God allows all or He doesn't allow all. So does God allow sin? Obviously not. Does God give His consent to evil? Okay, lambana, as you give. Patayin natin to, kasi yung anak masisip. Hindi yun eh. How about murder? How about adultery? Does God allow adultery so that people would divorce and do this and do that? Does God put his stamp of approval and say, God allowed this to teach you a lesson? Kasi kulang kasi humility. Hindi, di ba? Uh, so, who gave people, who gave churches the right to pick and choose what God allows? Allows means to give his approval or to give his legal right to that. God only allows things that are consistent with his nature. Healing, prosperity, life, blessings. Hezekiah, kahit na ikasisira niya, ang hinihi niya kay God was aligned with his nature. Therefore, God permitted it. God allowed it. Why? Because it was life and healing. So you see what I mean? The whole point, baliktad yung God allows. God allows something that is good. Kahit na ikasisira mo, that's not God's fault. Kaya yung puso talaga ni God eh. Dapat yung man, heart ni God. Ni God he can never really go against his nature. No? Yeah. Yung blindness niya si Ismail because of oh, Abraham. Oh. Diba? Um, Alam niya, up to now, yun ang problema sa Middle East. Oo oh, nga. Puro ano yun eh, galing yeah. sa Ismail. Pero wala, nandun yung promise niya to bless it. Eh. Yeah. So, you know, he, he permitted that. He allowed that. Kasi it was aligned with blessing. It was aligned with his word and his promise. Hindi contrary to God's nature. Yun. Second Peter 3 verse 9 in the New King James, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing. Okay, malinaw yan. Not willing. Not will. No will. Not God's will. Meaning, not allowed ba yun pag not willing? No. Sigurado ha? Hindi, may, baka may concordance na ganun eh. Uh, wala. Baka may Bible translation na wala. yung not willing equals God allows. Wala. Wala. Basta wala. Wala no. talaga. No. 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 Wala. Not. Sigurado kayo dyan. Baka, baka meron na bang meron ganun. Oo oh, nga. Wala. 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 No willing. Not willing that any so kasali ka doon, ikaw yun, ikaw yun, ikaw, you, you watching, yung, ano, no? pati yung taong, uh, no. yung taong salbahe, kahit yung, kahit yung rapist, kahit yung magnanakaw, kahit, si yes. kahit si Hitler, God, h- hindi will ni God, not willing that any should perish, sa NLT, be destroyed yan eh. not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Amen. So God's will is that you are not destroyed. Malinaw na malinaw to So I don't know kung ano So every time you say that God allowed to be destroyed Hindi nga siya willing So that means 
Yeah, pero that doesn't change the fact that people are destroyed. Diba? So it says, not willing, not God's will that any should perish. But people perish. Mm. So it's possible that something will happen that is not aligned with God's will. Tama ba yun? Yes. Yung Adam and Eve, naturo ko na to dati. Pero, um... Did God allow them to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Do not. So, sobrang linaw, di ba? You shall not eat. Tsaka lahat pwede lang gawin. Isa lang. O, yun lang. Isa lang lang. Isa na lang. Gawin nyo na lahat. Ito lang. Okay. So, they're not allowed. Yes. Pero nagawa nila. So, ibig sabihin nun, something can happen that God did not allow. Yes. Does that make him lesser of a God? Does that make him weaker? Does that make him any less sovereign? No. But you know what? If you do say God allows, it makes him less good. You question his goodness. So you elevate sovereignty, but you pull down his goodness and throw it out the door. Through that doctrine. So be careful. God is a God of life. And there are so many more examples in the Bible. You know, and I'm just, I don't, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all of them. But I do want to point out some other stuff. Solomon. <laughs> with a thousand, or with a thousand women. 700 wives and 300 concubines. All the riches, diba? Stop in your walk. <laughs> so Solomon, let's go to 1 Kings 3, verses 11 to 14. Short, short version now. I said, you know, guys, you know the story. Solomon asked for wisdom. He did not ask for riches. Yes. He asked for wisdom. God blessed him anyway. Diba? The permissive will of God is on the blessing side and not on the cursing side. Kasi yung curse, ayaw niya rin naman yun eh. The curse has always been, even in the Old Testament, it has always been a consequence of human action. Hindi yung trip lang ni God. Di ba? Tsaka yung curse ginamit ni God to control tao, hindi magwala. Yes. Ah, sa Hebrews yun, nakasawa ko. Para, para, para pag, pwede pa dumating si Jesus. Kasi pag sobrang evil na yun, wala na. Wala nang chance na rin si Jesus. Wala na. Yung Messiah, wala nang... So, iba yung Old Testament. Diyan ngayon ang curse just to parang control yung tao. And tapos na yung curse. Galatians yeah. 3.13. Yeah. Jesus became the curse. Tapos so, kinuha niya na yung curse. Wala nang... Tapos na yung curse today. Anyway, let's go to 1 Kings 3 verse 11. It says, God said to him, Because you have asked this thing and have not asked for yourself long life, nor have asked riches for yourself, nor have you asked for this li the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself discernment to understand justice. Ito yung hinihini sa alam eh. Behold, I have done according to your words. Behold, I have given you a wise and discerning heart, so that there has been no one like you before you, nor shall one like you arise after you. I have also given you what you have not asked. Ito mo. So, permissive will ni God is on the blessing side, not on the cursing side. Verse 13, I have also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there will not be any among the kings like you in all your days. If you walk in my, if, if you walk in my ways, keeping my statues, statutes and commandments as your father David walked, then I will prolong your days. So there's an if. So, hindi nga hiningi ni Solomon, God gave prodigally. He gave lavishly. Solomon was so rich, silver was worthless. It was like a rock in, this, in, this, in the soil, in the street. Sa sobrang dami niyang gold, yung silver, hindi na pinapansin. Basura lang. Basura lang sa kanila. It was like a rock in the street. But he never asked for riches. Therefore, God's permissive will is on the good side. Why? Because it is his nature to bless. God's permissive will is not that he allows evil. No. He does not allow evil. Evil is illegal in God's kingdom. God allows blessing. Now, he blessed Solomon so much more. A question ng iba. O sige nga, kung, kung good si God, alam niya masisira si Solomon, ba't niya pinayagan? Solomon chose to destroy himself. So, 14, sa niya, if. May if nga. So, may if dito, if you walk in my ways. We will not, God will bless you. Amen. So, God's, his function, his, you know, in nature is to bless. It's up to you what you're gonna do with a blessing. So, you know, when I teach sovereignty, alam niyo tong example na to, if I give you a car, and I give you the keys, and I give you everything, and you know, I bought that, I paid for it, that's your car, you can do whatever you want with it. Nasa iyo yung ORCR, nasa iyo yung plate. Pag nabangga mo yun, is it my fault? Did I allow you 
to, 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 uh, to have that accident. No, I allowed you to have the car. It's up to you what you're going to do with it. Diba? But that's the same thing here. The Lord, His nature is to bless. Sa sobrang tuwa niya sa heart ni Solomon, na wow, wisdom and discernment. Yeah. Eh, normally, hinihingi pera o long yeah. life o, di ba? Actually, ang maganda pa yun, discernment sa wisdom, to judge your to people. Ju yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hindi yeah, personal yeah, yeah. lang na. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's an if. Everything that happened in Solomon's life was not God's fault. It was Solomon's free will choice. He was solely responsible for his fate. The permissive will of God, what God allows, is on the side of blessings, exceeding abundantly more than what you can ask or think, right? Ephesians 3.20. The Lord has given all this to us. You know, I know it's so hard to understand and receive, but guys, you know that we have access to far more than what Solomon had? Of course, we have Jesus. Exactly. Exactly. Matthew 11, 11, it says, Truly I say to you, among those born of women, there has not arisen anyone greater than John the Baptist. So, John the Baptist was greater than Solomon. John the Baptist was greater than anyone in the Old Testament. Yet, the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. So even if you are the least Christian, kahit na ikaw yung, ewan ko kung may basura sa heaven, kung tagapulot ka nung... Taga, taga walis ka ng alikabok Kung may alikabok man sa heaven I don't know Maybe I, I don't know I don't know But you know Whatever If there's a, there's a ranking There's least eh. There's greater There's least So wh whoever is least In the kingdom of heaven Is greater than John the Baptist Meaning that you are Greater than Solomon Why? Ephesians 1.3 Blessed be the God The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ Who has blessed us With every Every, all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Amen. Solomon did not have a savior. Solomon did not have a Christos. Solomon did not have a, a Messiah. You know, Solomon did not have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. You know, he, he would come upon him and leave. Kaya nasulat niya mga Proverbs and ano, but did not dwell in him. Solomon did not have every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. But you know what? You do. You are far more blessed than Solomon. Yes. Diba? So, yeah. ano to? So, yung excessive blessing ni God, excessive, has been poured out on you. But the problem is people are still stuck with the God allows evil. Hindi nga eh. The permissive will of God is on the good side. It, it may seem excessive. What is more excessive than every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places? Everything that you would need in, in your whole life and more is already there. Through Jesus Christ. What's more excessive than that? Yung sa Luke, ito, hindi ko na, hindi ko na kailangan puntahan yung passage. Pero sa Luke 15, di ba yung prodigal son? You know, it's prodigal son. Actually, yung prodigal son was a title given by the translator. Hindi naman siya sinabi ni Jesus na the prodigal son. Eh. Diba? What does prodigal mean? A lot of people think prodigal, takwil, o ano mo yun, walang kwenta. Hindi. Oh. Pag sinabi mo prodigal, prodigal means extravagant. extravagant. It means lavish. Or sa ibang translation, wasteful Reward. Or excessive Or liberal Give uh, Parang prodigally apply Cheese on the You know, talagang Bubugbugin mo ng pagkadami-daming Keso yung pagkain Di ba? So <laughs> Pero ito nga Question, prodigal son Where did the son get his money? A father Di ba? So isn't the father the prodigal one? Yes be prodigal, prodigal father because the prodigal son was a title given by the uh, interpreter diba? yes. G G Jesus did not say who was prodigal but he did say that the son squandered his wealth so it, you know if you don't know where that is that's in Luke 15 11 to 32 I'm not gonna read it now I have a teaching on this called the father's heart so go please go check it out anyway uh, what I do want to point out is that people blame the father People blame the father. They're like, ano klaseng tatay ito? Why did he give it to his son? Walang wisdom. Walang ganito. Hindi mo ba alam na yung father na yun is supposed to represent our father in heaven? Bakit sa pagbigay ng pera, walang wisdom yung tatay? Pero sa forgiveness, wow, ang galing. Nagpalit ba ng tatay? Did they change fathers in the middle of the story? Sa Luke 15? It's the same father in the start, same father in the middle and in the end. Di ba? The Father here is supposed to be representing God our Father. 
Not only the fact, because they only look at the part of forgiveness and they fall on your cheek, he runs. No, no, no. Let's look at the first part. Why did the father allow the son to have his inheritance anyway? Hiningi. Hiningi. Huh? Hiningi. 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 Careful. Because that's God you're talking about. And that's God's wisdom. You know, so, you know, this is the permissive will of God. That if you ask according to His will, He hears us and He will give us. Diba? Yeah. Yun yun eh. What is His will? That you are blessed. His will that you have abundant life. John 10.10 10, I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. That you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. That, that is His will. His will is that you are whole. That you are saved. That you are, you are in perfect peace. That you are, diba? He will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory in, in Christ Jesus. So many people criticize the prodigal father. Why do you give all the riches to your son? No, no, no. Stop humanizing God. It's His nature to bless. The prodigal father was the one who lavished all this on his son. It was the son's fault. Who squandered the wealth? The father or the son? The son, the son squandered the wealth. It was the son's fault. Problem. It was the son's fault because he lacked wisdom. Because if I was God, I would punish the son. I would break his bone and make sure that he remembers to ganito ganyan. Well, thank God that you're not God. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm not God because I'm not perfect in any of us because we're not perfect. Only God is good. If your doctrine will say God allows evil or God allows this, you are humanizing God. You are saying if I was God, this is what I would do. You are not God. You don't get to decide who God is and which parts of God you like or don't like. The prodigal son parable talks about the nature of God. That he will bless liberally, lavishly, prodigally. Why? Because it's his nature. Yung hiningi sa kanya ang blessing ng anak niya, eh nature niya magbigay eh. That was not contrary to his nature, but the son squandered it. So sino may fault? Yung anak. I'm almost done. Yeah, yung dagdag ko lang, yung sinabi niya kay David nung nag-fall kay Bathsheba. Ah, ah, ah. Kasi niya, why have you done this to me, kay Bathsheba sa Uriah? Kung sa alam bigyan pa kita ng mas madaming asawa. So, para palira dito kasi sabi niya, if this were not enough, I would have I would give you more. Eh, sabi niya isang wife lang. Niyo nga. Pero gawin mo yung evil niyo. Yun na nga. So, yung side niya is on the blessing side. It's not on the, you know, I wanted to put that on the notes too, but it would be to, I, I, Dapat ginawa ko na lang part 2 ko. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> okay lang. Ano, Pag-pray pag natin yun kung tutuloy natin itong topic. You know, Marami kong bingi ng pakalawa. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure. Marami rin tataas yung kilay. Sabihin na, <laughs> blasphemy na naman doon. <laughs> anyway, don't let your earthly father or your personal experience of fatherhood determine who our father in heaven is. Kung tatay mo kuripot, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Or kung tatay mo sobrang permissive na wala namang pakialam sa'yo That does not define God The way, the only way you can define God or understand God is the word of God yes. The word of God is the only thing that can define who God is Not you, not your interpre interpretation Not, oh, kung ako si God, ito yung ginawa ko Kung ako si God, di ko bibigay yung pera na yan eh, Hindi ikaw si God This is to reveal who God is so para ako, para ito guys. Lahat tayo dito, we have unique personalities. And as we, you know, as we minister, as we spend time together, kanya-kanya tayong mga ugali. So, hindi ko naman mapipilit na si Macho dapat ganito. Ikaw yan eh. So, kinikilala lang kita. And that's you, man. That's always been you. And same here. No matter how angry you Salang get at macho. me. Ha? Salang macho. Salang macho. <laughs> diba? but, no matter how angry you get at me, I'm me. And that's, that's it. So either you take it or leave it. Si God, ganun din. What His Word says, you take it or leave it. Huwag mong pakialaman. Hindi mo kayang baguhin si God. He, I am the Lord your God, I change not. Di ba? So, anyway. The permissive will of God, ayun, pilang beses ko na inuulit to. But the permissive will of God is on the good side, it's on the blessing side, not on the evil side. Why? Because evil is not His nature. Good is His nature. 1 John 1 verse 5 says, This is the message we have heard from Him and announced to you that God is light and in Him there is no darkness at all. So walang darkness si God. How can a good God allow evil? He can. 
he can't consent to evil. There's no darkness in him. Yan yung last verse mo. Oh, malapit na. Yan yung first verse ko na one. Ah, sa, sa Sunday. Okay. Well, praise God. <laughs> so, God is light. So, God's permissive will is on the side of light and not darkness. He does not endorse excessiveness. He does not endorse wastefulness. But it is his nature to bless and to prosper. It's not his fault if you cannot handle it. Diba? Pag binuksan mo yung gripo, tapos nagpakalunod ka dun sa gripo, kaninong kasalanan yun? Kasalanan ba ng ano yun, Manila Water? Pwede mo ba i-demanda si Manila Water, binuksan mo yung gripo at nalunod ka dun sa timba? Kuryente. O na, kuryente. Pag sinaksak mo yung daliri mo sa kuryente at na nasunog ka, sino may kasalanan nun? Si Meralgo. Oo, kasi may kuryente. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, ang tanga nila, no? sinaksak nila yung kamay mo Diba? <laughs> dapat, wala, dapat walang lalagyan ng kuryente Wala namang gumagamit, <laughs> dapat wala, no? <laughs> so, anyway guys you know, Grabe, no? Napaka-simpleng ano nun eh para... Satan has blinded the minds of these religious people God is good, how simple is that? How can you twist something so simple? Diba? Hindi nga pwede So again, God does not ex endorse excessiveness it's just his nature to bless and to prosper. It's not his fault if you can't handle it. Parang buffet. Kain tayo sa buffet. Pag, if you eat too much and you get indigestion and you get sick, did the buffet allow you to get sick? Is it the buffet's fault? Kung doon sa US, di ba yung coffee ng McDo na tapon? Na uh, hot. Oh, okay, nasuwa niya. Kasi di ba, did, did the buffet shove food down your throat? Sabi niya, sige, kainin mo to. <laughs> Hindi naman ganun, di ba? So, kung kumain kang 50 cheeseburger, kaninong kasalanan yun? <laughs> so, waiter? <laughs> so, or, or did you do it to yourself? A lot of people blame God for God allows this, God allows that. Totoo lang, consequence ng actions natin or actions ng iba. Malaki yun. Malamang sa malamang. Palaging tayo ng tao ng yun. Kaya nga, binigyan tayo ng spirit of self-control. From the start, ki Adam and Eve, palaging you choose. You choose. You you choose. choose. Tayo, pag tayo nag-choose ng mali, hindi kasalanan ni God. Doon pa lang makikita mo rin yung heart ni God. Eh. Kaya ang hirap pag pinita ng predestination as it is preached in other churches. Ayun ang mahirap. Kasi if you say predestination is this and that, God made you do this, no, God... Ah, Ba't may if? Bakit may if? Para sa yung choice. Diba? Why, why did you decide to click and watch this diba, program right now? That's your choice. Nobody forced you. 2 Timothy 1.7 in the ESV said, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Self-control. So si God, ang nature niya, mag-bless. Binigyan na tayo ng Holy Spirit, bahala ka na sa self-control mo. Diba? The spirit of self-control. Solomon did not have this. Hezekiah did not have this either. The prodigal son did not have this. Kung totoo man talaga siyang tao. Na, ano, but you do. You have the spirit of self-control. So, umalis na tayo dun sa ano, yung permissive will ni God is on the side of goodness. Diba? There are so many ifs in the Bible. We must cooperate with God. You know, it, it is so wrong for us to change God's character to fit our preference or our tradition. Or our, ito kasi yung nakasanayan namin eh. Ito kasi yung DNA ng grupo namin na ito talaga yung pinaniniwalaan. Pag mas importante yung tradition mo kaysa sa truth, medyo malaki yung problem. Okay? God allows goodness and love and blessings. You know, if, if, if you don't understand this concept, then I'm sorry, you have no idea what grace is. Because grace is excessive. Would you agree, guys? I agree. Grace is excessive. Sobrang excessive. Sabi mo, grabe naman, grace. No, 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 no. Yung meaning ba, undeserved. Undeserved privilege. Hindi pa ba excessive yun? All, 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 all your sins have been forgiven. You are sealed. To go to heaven. Did you deserve it? No. Did you earn it? No. It is God's permissive will that yung excessive goodness ng grace niya, not evil and darkness, God's permiss permissive will is, is, is goodness and blessing and love and life. Mas madalas kasi people stop sa justice. Eh. Oo nga. Oo. Uh, do good, may kapalit na yeah. blessing. Hindi naman, hindi naman kasi natigil yung justice. Yeah. Eh. May grace eh. Mas Ma matasi grace eh. May grace. Pero hindi yun. John 12, 47, 48. There will be judgment. Yeah, in the, in the last uh, day. Oh, yes. now. Not now. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, 19. He is not counting our trespasses against yes. us. Wala sa notes. But look it up. 
There is justice, there will be justice. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Diba? Romans 8.31. So, yung point lang dun is, hindi pa, hindi pa ngayon. Ngayon, pwede pa tayo magbago. If you're talking about permissive will, excessive goodness, like ginawa kay Hezekiah, kay Solomon, kay prodigal son, kahit na nagpakasira sila, eh, yun yung nature ni God eh. Hindi kasalanan ni God na nasira sila. It's not God's fault that they messed up. That's their fault. That's their own fault. But God's nature is to bless. 1 John 2 verse 2, my last verse, says, And He Himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for, the, for those of the whole world. So, ilang sins yung forgiven, bro? All. 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 In, baka konti lang. Baka... Some, some yata. Pa, pang, pang limang church lang ba? O tatlo? Hindi, pang mga... Walo yata. Walo. Hindi, oh. yung... All. All. <laughs> the whole. All. All. Lahat na all, 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 all. <laughs> Lahat na ng nota. Naabot na. No, but he is the propitiation of our sins, but also for the whole world. Meaning, every person on earth has access to God's grace. Jesus paid for the sins of the world. Not just you and me. Not just the people here. Not just the people in your church. The whole world. Now, here's my question. Is everyone saved? No. No. They have to cooperate with God. So, excessive goodness, yung grace, yung nature ni God, poured out permissively the prodigal blessings that He paid for the whole world just in case may magtatanggap. Sabihin ng iba, isayang naman yan. Sana binayaran niya para dun lang sa may gusto. Hindi kasi nature kasi ni God is for all. Saka fair siya. Yes. Everyone has the opportunity to be saved. Everyone has the chance to be saved, everyone can can decide to be saved and receive forgiveness. Isn't that excessive? Hindi naman lahat saved. Narrow is the gate. Isn't that prodigal? Isn't that wasting the blood of Jesus? Para sa kanya hindi. Worth it. Worth it. So that's God's nature. Again, you know, um, this is God ex lavishing His extravagant love for us. Even though you and I, we have acted like Solomon, we've acted like Hezekiah, the prodigal son, despite our stupidity, we can always come back to Him. Yun ang permissive will ni God. Hindi yung God allows evil. Kaya mas madali sa atin. Eh. Hindi ko sinasabing mas madami tayong grace. Yung pinanggalingan natin, mas talagang maintindihan <laughs> natin sa tayo. Sobra. Ang inangat ni God. Ang sarap nang may babalikan. Yeah. 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 Kaya pinang number one kalaban ng grace yung self-righteous. Eh. You, yeah. you feel you deserve yeah. si God. Actually, totoo lang yung sinasabing God allows evil upon you. Self-righteousness yun. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi feeling mo special ka dahil God allowed that in your life. Eh. So may special treatment ka from God na sa'yo lang yun. Totoo lang ha. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to call that out. Magalit na yung magagalit. That's self-righteousness. That's pride. Feeling more that you deserve that extra attention more than anyone else. Sa atin na, we, we understand yung grace ang binigay sa amin ni God. Pero now we teach, not because alam natin yung pinanggalingan, but we really understand yung love and grace ni God. Yun yung binibigay namin sa tao. Eh. You, you lie and I murder, same, same. pa rin eh. Kailangan same, same. natin yung grace eh. Yeah. Diba? Mag-isip mag ka nga rin ng bad. Yeah. Yeah. Tao lang naglalagay na ito mas masama, ito mas mabuti. Kigad, either 100% or zero kay. Yeah. Amen. So, mas madali lang natin na intindihan kasi at sama ng sa tayo pinulot ni God. Eh. Pero that doesn't mean na mas deserve natin yung grace. Eh. Uh, well, we are not deserving any more than you are. Yeah. We are not better than any of you. Yes. We're not greater or smart. No, wala. no, no. no. We are all recipients of God's lavish prodigal grace. Yun so yan. it's not ano yung past mo eh, but how much you understand ano yung binayad ni Jesus Christ par sa iyo. Amen. Tapos mm -hmm. nasa sa iyo yun kung papakasira ka ba? Oo, uh, nasa iyo yun. Oh, hindi. So I'm going to say this for the last time, the permissive will of God is on the side of goodness, of life, of healing, of grace, of forgiveness. It's on that side, hindi yung God allows Evil and murder and that. No, no. Kasi hindi niya nature yun. If you ask according to his nature, he's going to say yes. He has said yes through Jesus Christ. Because all the promises of God are yes and in him, amen. Diba? 2 Corinthians 1.20. So, God doesn't allow you to go overboard kasi that would be sin. You allow yourself. He will allow you to experience the fullness and the abundance of his love and blessings. It's up to you what you're going to do with it. Guys, we serve a good God. 
He is good and only good and there is no evil in Him. Amen. 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 So, I know we, we did hit a lot of... <laughs> guys, we love you. <laughs> no, I'm really. We, no, no. You know, honestly, honestly, ah, totoo lang, ah, kung, kung yeah. I speak for myself and I speak for the ministry, if we did not love you, we would not be preaching this. If we cared more about our reputation or what people say about us or what people think about us, we would not be preaching this. Because we know that there are going to be blessings. Oh, for blessing, lang. Pag prosperity gospel, na lang. Yeah. Oh, pera pera, for prosperity, to health and wealth, name it, claim it. We could preach that biblically, mm. na puro feel good. We can do that, but you know what? That would be a disservice. We would be taking away the truth from God's word and picking and choosing. We are no different. We will be no different from those who say God allows. Because mm. they pick and choose what to teach it. That's self-centeredness. We love you. We're not looking for affirmation. We're not looking for compliments. We're not looking for barkada. We're not looking for approval. We just love you. This is the truth. God's permissive will is on the side of goodness. Tapon yun na yung God allows. Hanggat pinipilit nyo si God allows Satan, you allow Satan in your life. And you won't be able to resist it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's pray. let's pray. Lord God, Father, we thank you for this time. I thank you, Lord, for this truth and this message. I pray that the seeds of your word, Father, would be planted in the hearts of my brothers and sisters. That this would just really come alive. That they would understand your heart, Lord. Yes. You're good. You're good. You are absolutely good. There is no evil in you. You don't allow evil. You do not allow sin. You don't allow sickness. The very fact that we can pray for healing, we can declare healing, and use the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ to, 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 to manifest healing through your power, Lord, that means that it is not allowed in your kingdom. The mere fact that we, that, Lord, that you have forgiven us shows that what are you sin? Lord, we thank you that you have lavished upon us your indescribable grace and love. Grabe. Lord, we don't deserve any of it, but you have poured it out on the world. And I know, Lord, not everyone's, not everyone's saved, not everyone's receiving it, but you gave it anyway. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your amazing, 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 amazing grace. We thank you that you are a God of life. That when we come to you, we are confident that you are our healer. We come to you, we are confident that you will breathe life into our situation, that you are our provider. Lord. Father, we repent of those times that we have humanized you. That we think, Lord, we're sorry for defining who you are based on our opinion. We repent from that. From now on, Lord, we will allow, we will let the word of God define who you are. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. Thank you, Lord, that you have poured out all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus in our lives. Thank you, Lord, that we are far more blessed than Solomon or even anyone in the Old Testament. Thank you, Lord, that we have access to you, that we can come boldly to your throne of grace. So, Father, I just lift up to you, everyone who's watching this, I speak life and peace and blessings upon you. And I pray that everyone here would just understand and receive the truth about how your permissive will for goodness. Father, we love you. We lift this up to you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, everyone, brothers and sisters. See you again on Sunday. 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 This Sunday. coming Sunday. Same time. Same, same channel. Same, same Jesus. Same face. Same, same place. place. <laughs> and same, same face. God bless you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.